it's Olivia and we're at the IU Science Fest today. We're gonna look at some chemistry candy demos. Let's go! We're here with Laura and she's gonna show us this Pop Rocks experiment. What is this? So we've got these pop rocks here, and what we did was we've added them to this balloon, so they're stuck in the bottom. We're gonna put it on top of this bottle here, just containing water, and we're gonna see what happens. What's neat about this is that you can easily do this at home, um, and we could even try it with different things, so maybe not using water, maybe try vinegar, maybe we try some soda, see what happens there. If we look here, you'll see a bunch of different um, gas is coming off of here. So this, this is just carbon dioxide and the pop rocks contain that. And so what happens when we put the balloon on top is that we trap all the gas in there. And so the end product looks something like this, where the balloon is blown up a little bit and you can actually feel the bottle and squeeze the top and feel that there's an air pressure difference in there. So after a little bit, we'll see something like that. So when we say air pressure, what is air pressure? In here, there's more space. So there's a lot of, there's fewer particles per the amount of area that we've got in here and there's more, um, more particles in a smaller area in here. So there's a difference when you squeeze this, there's more gas being pushed inside this bottle and you feel that. And so if you were to do the opposite and squeeze here, you'd see the balloon getting bigger as well, which we do see. What exactly are particles? So we've, got, we've talked about the carbon dioxide gas. And so these are these small little things that are floating within here. And so that's, what, that's what's actually in there. So it's just the carbon dioxide gas. And what do you think about carbon dioxide? That's really interesting. We're here with Nora and we're doing some sort of candy slime. What are we doing? Okay, so this is chocolate slime, but don't be confused, it is not edible. So what we have is first glue, normal Elmer's glue, and then add liquid starch and chocolate powder and then mix it up, activate the polymers in the glue, and then Ellie and I are gonna show you how stretchy this slime gets. Look at that. Big, nice slime, all courtesy of Ellie, but don't eat it, because it is definitely not safe. So when you say polymer, what do you mean? What is a polymer? Polymers is an example of a certain structure and they are perfectly made to be extremely strong and stretchy when activated. So what do we do to activate it and what is activating? Okay, <laughs> so the liquid starch reacts with a polymer and then the bonds become interlocked so that they can move more freely but still they're strong enough that it bounces back. All right, Caleb. So, what did we learn here? What is this? This is basically like chocolate slime. It looks really sticky. Well, not that it's more slippery than sticky, but as you can see, it is sticking to my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this probably your favorite station here? Probably. What do you like about slime? Well, I like that it's like squishy and like you can like kind of like make stuff out of it. I had a lot of fun here in the candy experiments, learning how to make chocolate slime and learning about carbon dioxide. I'll see you guys next time.